Hello, in today's landscape photography I'll be going out and photographing in a storm. This weekend I thought I'm just going to make the most whatever the weather and it just so happens that Storm Dennis is landing over England this weekend so a bit frustrating but I thought I'll see him go out anyway just ignore the fact that there's a storm going on and see what photographs I can get. If you're watching this in America, please don't take the p in the comments below. And I know we don't get things like cyclones, hurricanes, or tornadoes, or anything like that in England, but we do get quite bad storms over here. Um, and Storm Dennis has the power to I don't know, knock over flower pots and things. So it is quite dangerous. I've come to the Malvern Hills, which is local to me. So I know these hills like the back of my hand. So I'll be fine. I, often come up here for a walk when it's raining or something like that because not many people come up here in bad weather and I absolutely love getting out even though the the weather's miserable I don't mind the weather what I am unsure about is taking you with me professional landscape photographers say don't worry about your camera just go out and photograph in any weather now it's okay to say that if you can afford to replace a camera um, I can't very easily so I've always been very cautious of my camera equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out today with me and do a few experiments to see what it's like photographing in a storm. So first of all, what I used to have, I bought this little backpack cover. And what this is, it's just a cheap cover that you can buy for to put over the, the backpack. And then essentially, if it's raining, I'll just pop that over the top of the camera and try and stop the weather from getting inside it. So if you look back at one of my videos from last last year or the year before, I was in Scotland and I was up in Assens and, um, and I was using a backpack cover to try and cover the camera um, to stop it getting wet. But the issue with that is that because this is not see-through, um, it's really difficult to, to compose your photograph and everything like that um, while it's raining. If you put this over the top, you can't then do anything else. If you focus everything before and then get your composition, then chances are you've got water all over the lens. So even that was a couple of pounds, it does protect your camera, but I didn't find that very useful. I then went and bought this. What this is, is the specific camera raincoat really. And you have a little zip there. So you put your, your camera up inside there. The lens pokes through this little bit here. You can close it off. And you've got a bit for a, a flash gun if needs be. And then you can then put your hands in these little holes and operate the camera through there. Now that's pretty good. But what I found with that it's because this is quite a small aperture in here and I've got quite big lenses, you can't get any filters in there at all. So what the problem I had here was I had to put the filters on the outside. I couldn't then drag this over the lens. So then the rain still got on the filters and it made it extremely difficult again to take photographs with wet lenses and filters. So I do want to try that a bit more. I can always shut it off, take the filters off and then put them back on as and when I want to take a photograph, which is something I might try today. And let's see how I get on with it, because it looks quite good. What my recent purchase is, I've bought this clip and an umbrella. Now I haven't tried this yet. Um, this has only just arrived, but this is a an umbrella clip and stand to go on a tripod. So this is a specific photography one. Now I think this is more for the internal umbrellas, um, for flash units and studio umbrellas and things like that. But I'm gonna try it with an umbrella to see how I get on. One downside to using this is that if it's windy and this is attached to your tripod, then you are gonna get problems uh, with movement and it could blow your tripod over. So this really is ideal for rain when there's no wind around. So you just open up the one end, poke your, put that around the, the umbrella and that side just goes around your tripod so i have seen these being used and they look quite useful 
Um, I've bought uh, an umbrella, I haven't used this one yet. It's see-through, so unlike the other one, I can actually put this up over the camera and then I can, um, I can see what I'm photographing, I can focus, I can get the composition without needing to um, cover up the lens. So that should be quite useful. Um, I don't know how to open this up. There's a button there so you can just open that up. It is unlucky to open a, an umbrella indoors, so don't do that. Um, poke your eye out. A couple of weeks ago, it was Lisa's birthday, so we went out to this really posh hotel because neither of us have ever stopped in a posh hotel before. And um, we stopped a night in one just to see what it's like. And they had these, these condoms in the bathroom and they were free. So now that is way too big for me. But what I thought you could do is that can go over the top of your camera and the lens. You can still see through it so you can focus, you can compose, everything like that. But that's expandable so that can go over whatever you want on the camera and you can then take your photographs. But all you have to do is just lift the top up, take your photograph and put it back down. And even though it's raining, you're not gonna get any splashes on the lens. So you can just leave this down until the right moment and you just wanna lift it up, quick take a photograph and put it back again. So I have found a use for this and this is ideal. So if you go to any of those, those posh hotels and see one of these, definitely grab it for your photography. So far, um, the storm hasn't really materialized today. It's, it's not really that windy and we haven't got a lot of rain. We've just got a few spots at the moment. So it's, it's not actually happening, happening as much as I hoped it would be. But at the moment, the clouds are very, very light. There's, there's no real definition in them. It's, it's very flat. This isn't really conducive to, to good landscape photography. I definitely won't be getting any decent photographs in this light. What I was hoping for is some, some really nice storm clouds um, or some movement in the trees or a lot of rain to really really try and add a lot of atmosphere and mist to the scenes but as you can see you can see probably about a mile away you've got quite a lot of distance it's very flat light <coughs> but i don't know storm's just not coming yet i think i'm gonna wait around for a little bit longer and uh hopefully <laughs> something will kick off in a bit and i can go out and take some some decent photographs. Mm. Good morning. Um, after I left you yesterday, the storm really didn't materialize. I was uh, sitting in the car for a few hours. It stopped raining and we didn't really get any wind or anything like that. So it just started getting darker and darker and the light didn't come, so I didn't get the photograph. So I looked at the forecast last night and it looked absolutely <laughs> promising today. Um, it was 100% chance of rain. Um, I think it was 50 mile an hour winds and um, there's really patchy cloud. So that should be ideal for some amazing light for photography. So whenever you get like a storm or um, rain clouds just before sunrise or sunset the water washes all of the dust from the atmosphere and you get this really pure lovely light so that is absolutely superb for landscape photography and that was what's forecast for this morning so I thought I'd get up early and get it for sunrise um, sunrise is behind you about we're about half an hour ago now it hasn't actually come through there aren't the patchy clouds that were forecast um we're not getting the 50 mile an hour winds either that we're forecast and uh it's not 100 percent rain it's zero it's actually quite a pleasant morning um uh, i think this is going to be a boring video i'm sorry don't know what to do 
bit of a failure, unfortunately. Um, I can't really complain. Um, it's the forecast was completely wrong, but that's a good thing. Um, storms are never very, very good, really. They're, they're destructive, but I guess, I guess we're lucky. I've been waiting now for a few hours to try and get, or try and wait for these uh, broken clouds that will forecast, and there's supposed to be sun coming through, so I was hoping to get a bit of light, but unfortunately, at the moment, it's as flat as it can be. This is uh, probably the worst light you can imagine for landscape photography. I did say we're going to photograph a storm today. Um, we are getting little gusts of uh, wind. Um, if you see, look, it's it's about two miles an hour. So that's not quite storm conditions, but the composition I did want to get yesterday and today with these trees up here, you've got these um, two lovely silver birch with the uh, Malvern Hills in the background. And the wind is coming from the west, so hopefully it's gonna be blowing these trees and really get some movement in them. Um, as you can see, there's a slight bit of movement, but not a great deal. So um, I opted for a four minute exposure to try and get a bit of blur in those trees to show that this is actually a storm. Um, but as you can see, most of the time, they're just not moving at all. So with four minutes, I managed to get a little, little bit of uh, movement. It just really hasn't gone to plan today. Um, and I think this is probably the crappiest photo I've ever taken. So I really apologize. Um, probably getting the viewers watching this, expecting to see a real storm photograph. Um, but we don't get many storms in the UK and uh, this isn't one of them. I think parts of the country, there's, they've had red weather warnings and there's, there's about 400 warnings of flood. So there's something somewhere, just not particularly here. So I do, do apologize for wasting your time. Um, I've tried to get one photograph, which is one of the worst I've ever taken. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Uh, um, I don't know what to say. I do apologize. Um, I hope this video has been really useful and you've learned a lot from it. And I don't know what you could learn possibly, but, um, so thank you for bearing with me if you have, have made it this far. Um, yeah, not every time is successful, but as long as you get out and just enjoy what you're doing, I am enjoying this. I, I really am. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you next time. <laughs> if, if you've enjoyed this. Uh, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please consider subscribing. <laughs> please. Please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. Please be positive. Uh, all right, see ya.